Um, they always say that an online business is a reflection of yourself. It was a mindset shift that I didn't expect I needed to go through. And so you kind of come into it thinking, just follow, follow the steps, do the work and you'll be successful. And no, that's not the case. <laughs> um, quality. And that, that's a lot of that, that Stuart. And now I, I was in a, a new um, situation where it's more about the art and the science and no one really could explain me what the art was, but they were doing it. So I, it really... Um, it was all the additional things that were there. I'm, and I couldn't believe that for, what was it, and ninety-seven dollars a month, you've got all of what you got. Um, and I literally, I, I, I'd explore the site and find more and more stuff. Uh, and I think for me, it was just the fact that there was so much there for the the little money that you were spending up front. And so, I didn't know how much mindset work I would have to do. I didn't know. Um, that yeah it will take a little bit of going back into the past and maybe overcoming a few negative limiting beliefs and um you know having to work on becoming the best version of yourself to enable then that to blow into your business and create that success and then when you come into this um business sector where there is no one rule or one right and one wrong, but it's just more of a how the market responds and what's your energy, how do you communicate. These are things we did not learn at school. The thing that we all say, the thing about the community, and for me, I, I've not seen in any kind of work I've been doing, in any organisation I've worked, any community that is, is so willing for other people to succeed. Normally you get the, the corporate thing where, yeah, I'll say you've done a great job, but really I'm either envious or jealous or I wish it was me or something else is behind the scenes. So you get that feeling with the community that genuinely people want you to succeed just as much as, as they want to succeed themselves. How true is that? Like, I didn't think of that. It's so true that people do really want to want you to see this. Oh, in total 10 years, maybe even longer. Uh, when I first started my my own business, my freelance training business, um, I, I had no technology, so I invested. I got somebody to build me a website. I spent about five, five and a half grand to get somebody to build me a website, which did absolutely nothing. It was like having a business card that just sat on the internet. Um, and I read this book and it was all about affiliate marketing. And at the time I was hanging to get out of my job. Um, I had set myself this motto of, I want to earn income in a way that allows me to prioritize doing what I love. And so when I came across this book about affiliate marketing, I was all in. I just thought this is a no brainer. Um, then I, I decided that if those people who were supposed to be experts couldn't do it, then I had to learn to do it myself. So I went on a course which taught me how to build a website for dog grooming. Um, and basically for the next eight years or more, um, I wasted five and a half grand. They gave me a whole bunch of training on, was online and I didn't do anything because I had no idea where to start. And I told and then, my partner and he didn't know that for the past couple of weeks I'd been looking up, up this stuff and he sent me a broadcast which was like an email with a little video of this guy who was teaching online marketing. And when I saw his video, the way he talked, he was walking through nature, talking about how much he loved nature and, and all the prospects of an online business and I'd already... And I immediately knew I wanted to do this. But it took me three months to press the button and, uh, and actually enrol in the training. And there was two reasons for that. Uh, one, well, yeah, one which was, um, I, it was all right for them, but I didn't think I could do it. Uh, I didn't think I would be the one that would be able to do it. So all these great experts that knew about techie knowledge and everything like that, 
Um, for me, I thought it's something that uh, it probably had passed me by. Uh, you know, the internet was for kids rather than anything else in my mind. And the other one, which was probably the major one of the two, was I was scared of how my wife would judge me if I told her I'd even thought about doing this. Um, and it took me three months to pluck up courage. And we were in Paris in Christmas one time. We were actually, on Christmas Day, we were going down the uh, Seine on one of these barges on these boats, having a meal, Christmas dinner meal. And I showed her the video there. And she just said, why, why haven't you started that? And I told her, I said, because I, I didn't know what she would think. And she said, well, that if it give you your drive back, if it give you your sense of purpose back, if it'll make you uh, happy and excited again, then you should be doing it now. So why are you waiting? And literally I pressed the button there and then while sailing down the scent. I already set in the back of my head that I wanted to start an online business and I just saw this one, one video, this one broadcast email and I was in. I, I did everything I could to sign up. So it, it didn't take long at all. <laughs> I was in it. To understand the potential online was not, not a problem at all, but to actually start to present myself in, in an online space in a way that I was aligned with my values, this really needed some, some major shift in my, in my understanding. And I was afraid to make a fool of myself. Would you believe I had no fear when I first started? I have absolutely no fear whatsoever. I thought I could do anything. I can do anything I put my mind to. <laughs> um, and then the other um, aspect was, was also about failing financially, just to kind of taking start taking risks um, and investing in something that I actually knew I could influence the outcome, but I did, it didn't have any guarantees that this would succeed. So I really had to overcome financial fears as well. Um, the fears started probably a couple of years into it. The new self-image. When I wasn't achieving my success. And then I started thinking, have I got what it takes? Is this for me? Can I do this? Um, yeah, so obviously it took a little while to get those walls down. I, I was obviously very ego, egocentric to start with, thinking, yeah, I can do this, this is easy. <laughs> and it took a little while to smash those walls down and discover, hang on a minute, you know, yeah, have, have I got what it takes? Um, I, and I guess when I wasn't initially getting the success that I wanted, I was starting to think, will I ever Am I going to be stuck in my unfulfilling job for the rest of my life until I retire? Will I ever find anything that fulfills me ever again as far as earning income goes? T to wake up knowing that you're running a business that is basically part-time, it runs part-time, which means you've got time to do all the other things that you love doing as well. And I'm, in, I'm, I'm feeling fulfilled and I'm feeling passionate about my business and, and to be w waking up feeling inspired rather than dreading going to work. To because work. I feel like uh, as, a, as a young woman to, to show that you have this, um, can take this responsibility about your life, your finances and just um, step into the world. To as wake up knowing that you can completely schedule your day your way. I think it's, you're not no longer a, a pawn in, in a game, but you're really the one who, who creates the story and like is the director of your own film. And I think this to be this role model for my children and for any other young woman would just be my greatest gift to the world and to me. Absolutely priceless. That, that's my dream. The fire that keeps me going is all about the understanding of, of what is there to gain. My because childhood dream of moving to the country and having horses of my own 
and loving them and patting them and bonding with them and caring for them and riding and no um yeah just being out in the country i've always wanted to live in the country horses fairly well self-contained that has been my dream since i was a kid it, it doesn't I, i'm not expecting riches it doesn't have to be mansions or anything like that just just you know nice country property that's what keeps me going i've got on my vision board i've just got a vision board over there i can see my images of the country and horses and all the rest of it so yeah um, so i came in quite sensitively um and the, the reason i did that is i i wasn't sure whether this was some kind of uh not scam but yeah you know, we'll we'll throw a lot of training at you for your money and then we'll just leave you to it and i think that that was that was the key thing about investing in the business because um, whatever i invest now and however long it takes me if i make it happen that i'm financially and time independent it will serve me the rest of my life it will change how i can become a mother, how I can raise my children, how I can respond to any major um, hardships that come in life, right? Uh, which is why I was so surprised when suddenly you found how much there is there and the fact that there's all this live coaching that goes on on a weekly basis um, and all the resources. Um, so all of those things changed that. And, and the other one was me. Um, and I, I mentioned it before, but it was this thing about I, I didn't know whether I would be able to um, to model, to emulate what other people had been able to do with their success. And I, I guess that comes down to the self-confidence thing rather than anything else. Um, but look, look at me now, when, when I look at where I was when I first started and that all the things that I can do, I can build websites, I can create funnels that convert, I can um, write a script and film a video and I would never have gone on camera um, before. Um, I can do, do the analytics, I can read the numbers like a picture, those kind of things. And, and, I, and I'm really genuinely excited every time I do. So it, it's a completely different view now from when I first dipped my toes in at the beginning. I think it's the understanding how much freedom it will give me that and how much freedom we could experience and also show our kids to actually really just live in both cultures. I think it doesn't matter if it takes five years or if it's one year. And then start to gradually reduce my work hours at my job. Because actually I really like my job and I think it's a fantastic company. So I would actually love to invest in that company and maybe even keep on working one day a week just to be like part of this um, community and and actually learn from their leadership skills and for me and i think there's, there's two levels of success so that that first one where you just relax and yeah um, and and you can just enjoy the moment uh, for me that, that that moment i'm looking forward to so much and what will it, it do further down the line? Well, I mean, it just allows us to do all of the things that, that we've done when we were sort of in the prime of working, but to carry on doing them without having to worry about going into work and dealing with all the politics that you have in companies and those types of things. So for me, it, 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 it solely will be um, a peace of mind knowing we can do anything we want, whenever we want, wherever we want and with whom we want as well. Um, we can pick and choose ourselves.